Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the Vanquish 4 Dice. It's an absolute beast. It looks sort of like a Jeep. It's a truck. It's a whole like trail truck. Let's get into the video and see what this thing looks like. So before we tear right into this box, I just want to say I got this truck from Cookville Hobbies, the hobby shop that I was showing you guys in the last video if you watched it. Uh, make sure if you haven't seen it to go check it out. But as you can see right here, it comes 460 bucks and you guys can have one of these beasts. I totally just love the look of the truck. It's kind of different. It's a mix between a Jeep and a truck. Looks good. So uh, let's let's see what this thing looks like. Alrighty guys, so I will say I have had this truck for some time and it does handle really well. And now that I've got a YouTube channel, I figure why not do a review on it? So as you can see, these are the stock tires that came on it. You know me, I have to put bad looking tires and wheels on it so let's show you i got some pro line traps on there and some injora spectrum wheels that just look really cool as you can see it is dirty and i have had it out but i will say this thing takes a beating um overall it's a great truck like i said like the box says it's straight axle front and rear just a great looking truck. So let's dive right into it. First, we're gonna take the body pins off. The body pins are located in the rear of the truck. If you can see one there and then the other one there. All right, time to see what this chassis looks like. So as you can see, everything is kind of dirty, but we got some stock electronics there. Looks like it's an XT60 connector. Comes with your brushed motors. Like I said, most crawlers, you don't want brushless motors in them maybe you want that brushless crawler fusion pro in there so i will be honest guys i did have the fusion pro in this truck and it is way too much for this truck i will say it beat it up i already went through a spur gear in it so i decided that i would just go back to the stock electronics because the stock electronics worked better in my own opinion i think it just fits the truck for what i needed to do so yeah, let's get back into checking out the chassis. Okay, so you have a scale looking transmission in there. There's your servo at the top. The, the suspension is really good. Like it's not too stiff, it's not too loose. It just functions as it should. So, same in the rear, like everything feels really good. I don't think I'll ever change the suspension in this truck. Um, overall, inside it's fairly clean. Everything is where it needs to be. I have seen a lot of builds where they're throwing Trail Finder 2 bodies on this truck and making them fit. It's a, I, I, from what I've heard, it's a nightmare, but after you get it done, it looks really good. Let me know oh, down, down in the comments if I should do that. I'm gonna show you my Trail Finder 2 body here. It's the Back to the Future discontinued body. Let's, let me show you what it looks like. Here we have it. I haven't showed you guys this truck yet, but this thing is an actual beast. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should somehow figure out how to mount that body onto this truck. It will take a lot of work and a lot of it will be on camera. Probably most of it will be off because it's very tedious stuff from everyone that I've heard that's done it. It sounds like a difficult project, but nothing I can't attack if you guys want it done. Let me know. So in today's video, we're going to take it out, see how it performs. See how it's able to perform going on trails. Like I said, it's got decent flex for the truck. I mean, yeah, that's maxed out right there in the fender well, but wait until you guys see this thing in action. It's an absolute beast. Vanquish has tons of nice trucks, tons of crawlers. This is probably the, the base model version. I wouldn't want to say it's like the best model they came out with, but it is somewhat affordable i mean it is 460 dollars but if you want something good sometimes you got to pay the extra dollar for you know something that will handle uh better out on the trails so this isn't really like a build video it's more of somewhat of a uh unboxing video i kind of want to do a review on a truck i've had for a while figured i'd you know show you guys the the capability of this truck it's really good um something i forgot to mention that this truck comes ready to run so it comes with a remote let me show you what that looks like so the remote is pretty basic i mean it's pretty self-explanatory just like every remote but it is kind of uh, odd shape and pretty 
cool because I, I like remotes where I'm able to do thumb drive or whatever so that way I can film and drive my truck at the same time. It makes things a lot easier. Um, overall though, it's a decent remote. I've dr driven this truck f like maybe a half a mile away from me before I lost connection. So that being said, not a really a whole lot about a remote that I'm really interested in. I just, they come with the cars and I run them just because that's how I am. But uh, overall, a good remote. So oh, with that being said, let's take the Vanquish 4 Dice out and see how it performs on the trails. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the look of the truck. And would you own one? Would you want one of these trucks? Uh, Tell me what your go-to RC brand is for crawlers, rather, whether it be Traxxas, Axial, Vanquish, or any other brand, like maybe Cross RC, like the truck I did a video with in the last video. But anyways, guys, let's get out and see how this truck performs.
guys, so back inside with the Vanquish 4 dice. This thing performed really good. I really enjoy this truck. Everything just moves the way I want in a crawler. Like the suspension's really good. It's just a little bit stiff. I will say the Axial 10.3 chassis, their suspension is a little bit better than this truck. But other than that, this truck is really good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the post notification bell on so you guys know when I post. And if you guys aren't subscribed and you're watching this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It will help me out, definitely. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one.